Hello and welcome to Komsomolskaya. Today I'm going to St. Petersburg. The train is in about 50 minutes and this is the station I'm leaving from, Leningradsky Voxal or Leningradsky Railway Station. Quite a snowy day. Um, not been in, I've not been in this part of Moscow before. Um, but it's a little bit confusing. There are three railway stations, the Zyaroslav, uh, Leningradsky and um, this one here, Kazanskaya Voxal, it says in the building. So without further ado, I will uh, walk into the station, get past the police here and then get on the train. Okay, so I've got inside the station. A um, little bit of a walk to the end of the train here. I'm in section E of the train at the front, but it's yet to arrive. I've got about mm, maybe half an hour to wait, but I think it may be pulling into the platform now, up there in the distance. Wishful thinking, maybe. Let, let's see. I hope there's a restaurant on the train. Then again, I've got water, that's most important. But I've not eaten today. Not a good thing to do with a, a long trip from Moscow to St. Petersburg. Let's see, are you coming into track three? It looks like it. I think this is my train, people. Okay, um, I'll film more when I'm actually on the train. Wish me luck. See you in St. Petersburg. I'll see you on the train even. Thanks. So this is it guys. Unfortunately I'm in the top bunk. Hope it holds my weight. But this is how we travel in Russia first long distance train journey I've done. Should be good fun. Let's see who my fellow passengers are in this coupe. Merry Christmas from this Moscow. Is Moscow here for some the Hermitage St. Peter's Winter Palace, where the Tsar used to live. A little bit more than a council flat. Would you believe it's nearly 10 o'clock in the morning? 
It's like minus 17. Uh, it feels a lot colder. And I'm not going to take a long shot because my hands are bare. It's cold. <laughs> Nearly said a bad word. But yeah, St. Petersburg. It's just one of the sites. I'm going to go over to the river over yonder and uh, we'll have a look there. So here we have a frozen river. I don't think there's, there's going to be any boat tours today on the Neva. But yeah, just walk from over there. Nearly got run over by a snowplow. Uh, didn't see it coming. <laughs> got sprayed by snow. <laughs> Enjoy the view while I've got my arm set up. Social media vanity. I don't know. Right. Okay. So here it says minus twelve. Right. But the actual feels like temperature is minus 17. I don't know if you can see that. Feels like minus 17. But I'm back in Moscow tomorrow and I've got more filming to do. So this is from uh, such and such bridge, can't remember the name. Uh, in fact, I don't know the name. Um, and this is the Winter Palace where the, the Tsars lived. It's quite impressive, isn't it? You know, I say that mostly Russia is like a second world country. They certainly know how to keep the important cities looking good. Don't know. Welcome to the necropolis of Master of Arts. This is Dostoevsky. Glinka and his wife, I think. And my battery's about to go. This is uh, Rimsky Korsakov, but it's uh, surrounded by some kind of uh, wooden protection. Borrowed in. Uh, oh, Mazowski. Pictures at an exhibition. Modest Mazowski. And of course, possibly the most famous Russian composer, Peter Tchaikovsky. My battery is about to die, which I suppose is fitting in the cemetery. So I'll leave it there. This was my St. Peter's trip. I'm going to head back to Moscow tomorrow evening and uh, then get back to normal life on Monday. Back to work it is. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Neil73 signing off. Have a good day and uh, have a good. 2022 everybody. Cheers.